This podcast contains opinions and views of individuals who have low to no sensitivity. If you are overly passionate on topics, you may find this podcast offensive. This may not be suitable to persons still sucking on their mother's teat. With that in mind, here's to you. Cheers. Here we go. It's a podcast. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of stuff going on today. Not today, but... Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff and much more uninteresting stuff, <laughs> I would say. So, uh, this whole Paris shenanigans really it, got everybody in a hubbub, huh? It's, it's everywhere, and sadly, that's the only thing that we could find. Now I see you're looking up the, an- the French anti-Semite. Yeah, what the fuck's that? What, a French anti-Semite? No, no, or the no. What's, he made? <laughs> <laughs> what's this? Do you, do you donate? That's, arrested, as, good, that's arrested, as good as I'm going to get it. Yeah, arrested over Facebook posts on Paris gunman. What, did you hear anything about that? I heard that he was arrested. And apparently he's... Really? <laughs> did, did you just hear that right now from me? No, on the news. <laughs> Uh, from what I heard, it apparently he's a Muslim comedian, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, he's a, f- which I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was an impossible connection of words right there, to be honest. Muslim comedian. I th- I thought once you get a, once you put uh-huh. that turban on, it's just it takes away all sense of humor. So, so it would seem in the news. I don't understand how you can get arrested for posting a comment. Uh, well, it's France, so it's slightly different, but. It also depends on what uh, you posted. Because they they I, don't have freedom of speech over in France? They do, to an extent. But, I mean, to an extent, we don't either. I thought you, we did. I thought that was like... Do you know what the Patriot Act is? Uh, isn't that some bullshit? Uh, oh, yeah, that's some bullshit, all right. But basically... Can I, if, can I say that about the Patriot Act? Uh, yeah. It's patriotic of you to say that about the Patriot Act. Okay. <laughs> but let's say someone uh, on Facebook starts, like, blabbing off, like, saying praise about ISIS... Or Al Qaeda, okay, because Al Qaeda has taken all. Okay, uh, so if it's if it's terrorist related, if it's about national security, uh, p- uh, people from the government could come in, put a black bag over your head, hit you with the the potatoes that were in that bag, <laughs> and then just take you off somewhere. Well, that's because they know what I like, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, I can't get enough of them carbs. <laughs> but I actually I was watching the news and they said something about how France might want to get a Patriot Act. A Patriot Act esque bill passed. I guess that's how you justify anything. There was a uh, nine year old arrested after he allegedly steals a pack of gum. Allegedly. He has not been convicted yet. That son of a bitch, motherfucker, nine year old. Dude, what's he going to do with that gum? He's going to stick it in a girl's hair? He's going <laughs> to blow it up and make noise in class? He's being held in a juvenile detention center after failure to appear in court. <laughs> Now that's his fault. Yeah, well, the court calls you go. Now what? <laughs> Even I know that. Yeah. Now, this is in Idaho, so not not much happens in Idaho, I guess, other than growing potatoes. Don't say much else than that, man. And that's on mm-hmm. that's in people. <laughs> Dude, he must be like. Yeah, it's in people. People magazine. Jesus Christ! I mean, is that is that another story about this nine year old stealing gum? Or just nine-year-old boys, just like, just the next there's, criminal there's, out. There's there's out a crime. pandemic of uh, <laughs> fucking nine-year-olds. Now, do you think it has to do with all the video games and the, the hippity hop, <laughs> music, possibly violence in movies that just make kids want to be criminals? It, it's it's a very different day and age from when you or I were much younger. And I so imagine you gotta arrest people for stealing candy. Yeah, dude, <laughs> fucking. Like before, it just used to be, you know, the, the shopkeep would, you know, get a broom and smack you on the ass until he ejaculated, you know? Yeah. It's a- I don't know if it was the same for you, but, you know, don't, don't steal gum was the moral of the story. Yeah. <laughs> don't steal gum because you will get gummed. <laughs> yeah, you know, work, go down a fucking Jiffy Lube, gum it up, you know what I mean? Um, just walk through the uh, car wash with shame and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I... <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I think the more you give people ability to complain and whine about something, the farther that people will take it. People can complain. Mm. Okay. Complain more and more. And they do. So, so now, you know, you got somebody complaining about, oh, that guy has AIDS. Don't let him in my school. You know, 
playing, and then eventually nobody would eat. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to what the th- choke you up there. <laughs> I know it's a sensitive subject and all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then somebody with AIDS can't be in the school until they prove that it's not contagious. Uh, <laughs> well, it is contagious, but it's, your one. it's not. <laughs> I'm just sitting down, <laughs> high five, and people won't give people AIDS. Not unless it's a dirty five. <laughs> you gotta cut your hand open. Yeah. There's spraying blood, blood everywhere. <laughs> so now, the, the more you let people complain, the farther they're gonna take it. So now, I would have to imagine that this may have happened before. Shopkeep, this little kid come in, steals a pack of gum, goes, that's bullshit. Yeah. Complains to the cops, who's going to give me my $2? You know, the cops what kind like, of gum you eating, man? $2 gum? Yo, <laughs> trident fucking minty you're freshness. You going up the Sky Mall to buy your gum or something? <laughs> I order. I'm not rich enough to take my private jet up the Sky Mall yet. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do get orders. Well, that's uh, That's only the guy from Virgin Mobile that does that. Oh, don't tell me you don't know the CEO of Virgin Mobile or Virgin. Oh, Sun. that asshole. Yeah, the guy who's rich and just like goes up to space yeah. to have tea time and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's an asshole. Uh, I listened to another podcast who claimed that he's basically a Bond villain. Why like he's just could be. He has airplanes that go up to zero gravity, and he's just he's gonna do something. Is that all it takes to make a Bond villain? <laughs> well, it, <laughs> just to have an airplane to go to zero gravity. Well, when you could do that and you control phone. Because he's like one of the huge providers of phones, so he has endless yeah. information. Does, doesn't he own like uh, Virgin Records and shit? Or yeah. Like, isn't, doesn't he own like a bunch of companies? Yeah. But it's he, all it's all underneath the same name. More or less, and he's trying to put that out atmosphere of I'm a cool guy until he like flips the script and he's like one hundred billion dollars, <laughs> and then all he, of a sudden he is not a cool guy, and then he blows the sun up or something. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But yeah, he's got a the, too the much only stuff. the only time I remember seeing him. Is he was trying to make a grand entrance to like something? Maybe it was like a hotel that he bought or opened, yeah. and he was supposed to rappel down the side of a building. <laughs> he was just supposed to rappel, and I guess they had this cable set up at the top of the building, and did not realize that about halfway down there was a kind of a jut out in the building. Yeah. So he just started going straight down. Eventually, he just smacked his ass on part of the building that was jutting out. Oh, wow. Ripped his tuxedo. <laughs> like, just, just the ass part. Oh, geez. So he just, he just has, like, you know, flailing boxers. Kind of like, you know, some, some Jim Carrey shenanigans Jesus. when he's in the Shark Tank. <laughs> um, anyway, so the shopkeep goes, where's my $2? And the guy goes, well, you know, I'll give you $2. Just shut your fucking mouth. And then, you know, another kid comes in, steals a pack of gum. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it keeps on going and going. Eventually, he complains enough, and he's like, I want justice. Nobody's been giving me my $2. I demand justice. And I was like, all right, well, we'll, we'll arrest him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it reminds me of something I saw on capitalism, because uh, I watch documentaries all the time. Granted, they're biased. But the the hierarchy of how money could get you more money and I always find it incredibly interesting how people make money. Uh, and there was a judge by out stealing west. packs of gum. Like, yeah, well, that's how they start. You got to start with the low ones. But out west, in like one of those good white suburbia towns, you know, we believe in Jesus. If you throw a piece of gum on the ground, like a robot comes and grabs it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just one of those really nice looking towns. All the grass is green. Uh, and there was a judge who owned or had stake in a privatized juvenile center, which basically, uh, that means a juvenile center is privately owned, and this judge would just send kids to juvenile center for misdemeanors, such as nine-year-old stealing gum, and he just would keep sending them for years because he owned a stake in the place he was sending them to, which is quite a conflict of interest as far as justice goes. So I wonder if something like that is going on over there. Because... A nine-year-old for stealing gum? I mean, privatizing prisons is bad enough. It just leads to wanting to send people to jail for longer so you get tax money for food. And well, Because you know, I would do it. I, w- I would send a whole bunch of innocent kids to jail if I made <laughs> money for it. <laughs> this ain't my kids. <laughs> I mean, that, and it's like in the documentary, those kids who were, you know, just only guilty of doing a small little misdemeanor like that turned out to end up to be real criminals because they spent years in prison. Well, not prison, but juvenile detention. 
that one judge made out like a fucking bandit. I think he got commissioned for every kid he sent there. Well, that's good for him. You yeah. gotta, gotta make that 2%, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. To go back to the people complaining about things, crazy stuff with people complaining about AIDS or gay people, and even now, gay marriage is not fully accepted. But that but, mainly has to do with religion, I think. I think, because now, people grow up believing that crap because the can book you, says it. Can you guesstimate, just make up a random number, uh, how many states allow gay marriage? Out of 50, I want to say 38. Out really? Of, out of a random thing. It's still good, but I mean, it, it's, it's... It's it's a good majority. Yeah, but to, for a basic right, I think. Yeah, well, in, every, bunch of in every state, then there's at least one or two, actually, if they want to get married. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't think in Texas there are. Well, they're they're much more low key about. I think Texas, no, probably not. No, <laughs> pro- probably not. I was about to say, just because Texas has like one or two decent cities in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not legal in Texas. Good, big big spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> Texas does not allow gay marriage. I think when uh, I think when George W. Bush was governor, he probably executed a couple people for being gay. Really? Yeah, probably not. But it's starting rumors. <laughs> hey, it's believable with that dude, right? Dude, they were they were frying retards, like some uh, of mice and men. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, dude, geez. they were killing like a hundred people a year with uh, their state executions. What what did they got down there? Chair? Yes. Yo, yeah, they they weren't lethal injecting people. But I do know they fry fried a mentally handicapped person. Probably for something he did that he didn't well, know he, he did. He, he was probably dangerous to his caretaker and yeah. everyone around him. Yeah, maybe he has AIDS. Maybe he was just cutting himself and just spitting yeah. blood everywhere. Yeah, sure. Oh my God. <laughs> just... Which. Yeah, they put a bag over your face for that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, ever, you ever seen like any of those jail shows? Oh, yeah. Fuck, uh, you, yeah you start, got, like, you start spitting. The fucking oh man, they'll throw you down hard. Dude, yeah. They'll put a bag on your face. Crazy inmates like throw and their shit and piss on you. And it's like, oh, what does that guy have? Oh, I got I got AIDS. Great. Yeah. <laughs> this is the AIDS episode. Which before we leave, I would like to tell a story of AIDS. How that, you have it? That has affected me. I know you got it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were we talking about before we got there? Oh yeah, the uh, Golden Globes and AIDS and stuff. <laughs> but, but everyone everyone there has AIDS. But someone won an award and they uh wanted to uh, complaining, that's where we got. They wanted to dedicate the award to that transgender girl that stepped in front of a semi truck because her parents, who were Christian, could not accept the fact. And they kept saying, You're a boy. You're a good Christian boy. Stop dressing like that. Stop feeling like that. And that's, I think that's a bad thing now, about complaints. Now, on, on his or her own... Yes, uh, she, she was... Agenda a, and time. Yeah. Decided, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna take a stroll. Yeah. I'm just curious if, like, <laughs> if there was a moment where, like, maybe not a truck. Like, maybe a, maybe a train. <laughs> Traffic's low today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's one thing I know. That fucking 8 o'clock to Chicago is always on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's well, sometimes you need it to be spur of the moment. You know yeah. what I mean? Because apparently it's hard for transgender people to get jobs. Uh I can understand that. Which uh, we uh, the place where we work, we won't say it. <sighs> this podcast, but if you, <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if, that anyway. ignorant fucking shit hole we work. <laughs> but someone, a guy named Michael, came up, uh, was, um, he put an application in. A guy named Michael. Yeah, well, she was transgender. Her name was like Layla or Lula or Lily. How'd you get this background information that his name was Michael? Talked to the woman who interviewed him, or okay. her, for that matter, and other people who had interactions and discussed, like, oh, so so what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, just, pe- just people were like, so heads or tails, which one you? you... Well, when, when you have on your application Michael, not Michelle, not... Moesha, or anything. Okay. <laughs> when it's Michael, and you come with long, pretty, curly hair. See now, I, I, I tits. Oh, he he was like he, he, he was, was halfway there. Yeah, he was going through surgery. G- give her another couple 
I years always, and I, the penis is going to be gone. I always think of songs whenever we say shit. Songs? Yeah. What, what, what uh, li- living on a prayer. <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she was almost there. And and I was getting the story from uh, the, peop- uh, the woman who interviewed uh, Michael and the person who was sitting in on the interview. And they were laughing. They were like, I don't understand. A dude with tits out and working <laughs> receiving. I don't get it. And is that, what, is that what they said to the guy or that's what they said amongst themselves? That's what they said to me. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> okay. as I asked. Because I'm always curious. And we, we work in a small place. so. But I find it odd that these Christian people who are so caught up with their own belief system can't step out of their belief box to accept their kid. I guess it depends on how, how strongly you believe. I mean, I, I believe. To get into heaven, Kyle, <laughs> you got to believe. You got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yeah, but that don't... Have you heard the good news? <laughs> <laughs> Which... Jesus loves you. Which reminds me of uh, <laughs> when we were going up to the casino. Uh, one of our drunken escapades, we would uh, go to the casino, we would take a bus. Uh, which means we would have to go there early in the morning. I think the bus came at 9. Which means we got our drink on around <laughs> 8 <laughs> on the way to the yeah, place. It's, it's like, should we get an Egg Big Muffin or a shot? <laughs> yeah. I had a... A skin of wine. Uh, for those who don't know what this is, imagine an old Western movie or any old timely movie where they just basically have some ball sack. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's a, a ball sack with a penis, and you drink out of the penis part. <laughs> More or less. Uh, I'll link a picture to one. So, uh, but basically, it's something that is on a rope, and you just hold it up and squeeze the balls <laughs> till it wine ejaculates in your mouth. <laughs> There, there's, there is no better way to uh, to enjoy honeyed wine. Yeah, it was honeyed, all right. <laughs> and we're just sitting there getting drunk on wine, smoking cigarettes, and a woman comes up to our window. Hey, hey, guys! I uh, just want to know if you guys heard the good news. You know, do you guys believe in Jesus? So I was like, I'll bite. <laughs> and then we're we're drinking, laughing, talking, and she, I think, once she assessed it, she didn't want to be there anymore. Really? I, 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 I thought she wanted. I thought she was doing. Quite quite a good job holding up her her yeah. end of the case. Yeah, well, as it were. And then once I asked a question, as I bring the the skin up to my mouth, I was like, so "What do you think about them Jews?" And I just squeeze it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's just like, "Well, <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember her answer other than being no one way." I, like, I, well, I, I, th- I thought I thought it was like all all people are God's children or something like that. Probably, but that's offensive to Jews, I think. Especially when you're preaching about Jesus and be like, oh, you're Jewish. That's your mistake, but Jesus still loves you. <laughs> like, that's, that's their mindset. But to get back to the AIDS story I wanted to tell, always get accused of having a bad sense of humor and making fun of people. Like, if we make a gay joke, we don't care. Hello, like, oh, we're straight. Who cares? Or if we talk about Speak trans. for yourself, Kyle. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, that's, a, that's the only person I can speak for. <laughs> You know, make light of a terrible situation and be like, you don't know. I was affected by AIDS because my uncle died of it. I did not know at the time. And to be honest, after I found out he had AIDS, I freaked out. So I'll be like, I shared cigarettes with him. <laughs> uh, it turns out you do not transfer it that way. Sure. I did check after, even though people are like assuring me. I'm like, well, I'm going to the doctor's. Which was the last time I went to the doctors to really? get my blood checked. Really? That's a check for everything. Wow. And then everything came out negative. Out how, how long ago was that? Like, what, 13 years ago? No. Uh, no, it's like three three or four years ago. Oh, man, you're, you're a clean kind of guy, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess I didn't check for your like blood pressure and shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heart-wise, I'm not doing good, but my blood is clean. If I find an A's joke funny, I will make it. Now, for, for clear, for, for kind of a... A roundup. Yes. A roundup here. You know, fucking Woody's, uh, Woody's roundup. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I do not have AIDS, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> sure. To, to round up everything, there was a transgender guy, gal. Uh, the, okay, so do, do you refer to them? As what they want to be referred to. Because it was... Okay. It was someone... Uh, when you're transgender, that means you identify as something that was not assigned to you at birth. It's uh, like some Fahrenheit 451 shit. Yeah, it is weird. Uh, for, for people a, who get don't get assigned a yob, and you're like, yeah. I don't want this yob. Yeah, it's a... 
<laughs> uh, so the the girl wanted to be her name was Layla, something with a Alcorn, Alcove, something. Oh cow! Don't don't drop bombs, man. Don't well, drop last name. Layla Alcorn. <laughs> <laughs> but she uh she was born a boy. Okay. But she identified as a girl. Her parents are like, "You're a good Christian boy," and she decided to play mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Get hit by the grill of a truck. truck. <laughs> Man. That might, no. be, that might be bad. Uh, to get hit by the truck or? No, to make the joke play mosquito. <laughs> like, this might end up in the grill of a fucking Mack truck. <laughs> was, was it a big, like, 18-wheeler kind of truck? Uh, I would imagine so. They, they, they reported it as semi. That's. Which is a weird name for a big fucking vehicle, to call it a semi. I really think it's appropriate. Is it? Yeah. God, he hit this person. What? What's the agenda? It's like semi guy, semi girl. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. It the is. last defiance of <laughs> irony. Like, <laughs> like nobody really knows for sure. Uh, uh, we were talking about the roundabout. Yeah, no, <laughs> some some about a Mack truck. Oh yeah, that's that's like a you you better hope that you get it right. Yeah, because uh, if if you don't <laughs> if if you don't position your head like to be first, yeah, uh, you're gonna be in a world of pain. Well, then what if, who would have done her makeup? Not her parents, that's for sure. <laughs> a fucking nurse at the goddamn hospital should, uh, should be working with all she's in a fucking coma. All right, so let's say you, you go you go the full length, okay? This is yeah. going to be totally just ignorant? silly. Yeah, okay. this, no, this, this is Fair 100% enough. ignorant. I'll, well, I'll laugh at it. <laughs> I'll laugh at it, too. Okay. Can, can you imagine, all right? So there's this there's this transgender lady. Yeah. Got some, some tatas. You know, she, yeah. she go on the doctor. Maybe she walks in front of a semi truck, and she gets knocked into a coma. And she goes, and you know her, her legal name is changed and all that jazz. Yeah. And, you know the the nurse comes in, you know she's taking care and she's you know doing like the the washing and whatnot. This you know, is after being hit while in a coma. You, you kind of like washing up near the neck, and you're like, man, this kind of feels like stubble. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, you go a little bit further, you go a little bit further, you know, <laughs> gotta get a sponge bath, everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus! This is not a woman after all. So do you think there would be, like, the nurse would come up and say, Doctor, I'm supposed to be giving a sponge bath to Elizabeth, <laughs> but it's got a penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just just utter think, confusion. Do you think there, that, what, now, what if there were two transgenders? And then, <laughs> but the opposite was like, well, I'm supposed to be watching a Steven... <laughs> But it's a vagina. That, and then they swap the yes. foot. <laughs> and then they wake from the coma with amnesia. And then they're like, oh, I must be Steven. And, like, <laughs> and then they end up living the... That would be weird. <laughs> That's a movie right there. I think. Oh, shit. Oh, we got news? Yeah, no. I'm, I, did you hear about the... Uh, um, in Connecticut, a 17-year-old cancer patient cannot refuse cancer chemotherapy treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma. That is actually one of the most treatable cancers. Uh, that The guy, uh, Michael C. Hall, that's the kind of cancer he had. Oh, I was about to say, was Mr. Freeze's wife, is that what she had? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, they just didn't. <laughs> All it takes is millions of dollars in diamonds. <laughs> I had no idea that that was a fake disease, too. What? Whatever oh, she, the one. Oh, had. I, was like, I just told you, Mike. It's the. <laughs> I thought you were talking about non Hodgkins or Hodgkins on nah, 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 nah. Uh, But apparently, this girl did not want to get treatment, and then the court ruled that she needed to. Needed to. Like that she had to. No, that's. As, as far as I read. Now, she was 17 years old? Yeah. I read something similar to this how a woman died or refused can- treatment. And she became like a hero of people like selecting with dignity when they want to die. But then this minor refuses it and she's being like forced into treatment. But the main difference is, is the, the adult woman who chose not to had like ridiculous terminal. Like basically it's death either way. This girl is a young girl. Young people respond much better to chemo. And that's a very treatable thing. But I still think it's fucked up that she is made to do it. Yeah, yeah. It says uh, she had an eighty to eighty-five percent chance of living, 
and the mother. Her of, and the mother. Yeah, her and the mother said no. This is what? her decision and her rights, which we are fighting about. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to look up like what it says more about like the ruling and shit. I mean, I, I, I think that's messed up because they're they're probably saying how she's young, seventeen, however old she is. They're saying, oh, she doesn't she doesn't have the right to make that big of a decision on her own, and they're probably saying that she's you know under the age, she's a minor, and they just don't want her to do anything about it. But I still think that that's I think that's against like some weird uh, human rights that we have being in America, or civil rights, the Bill of Rights, whatever the. I find it weird that a court would say you need to get this done. Like, I don't have fucking money for that. Are they are they gonna fucking pay for it? Like, yeah. If anything, that's that's a good kind of like tying yourself to a tree. But like, oh, I'm choosing death because crazy Obamacare or whatever the medical treatments. It, act of defiance towards something. <laughs> <laughs> I see your face is contorting the confusion. I'm not too sure what Obamacare has to do with tying yourself to a tree. No, I said that they're similar. <laughs> sure. Like, a hippie's sure. like, don't take this tree down, man. We don't need more parking lots. So you're saying that this girl with the cancer is a hippie? Oh, and she, and... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I got to go to explaining classes. <laughs> so what you're saying is that she's a hippie and she's tying herself to a tree. The tree being cancer. Yeah. Because we can't find, find cancer. cancer. <laughs> so we got to beat up a little girl with cancer. I think apparently. that's what the government's doing. We got... We got that goes back to Breaking Bad. He didn't want to go. Well, granted, that was a totally fake and different thing. But, I mean, he didn't want to go through the the pain of chemo for a chance of life. Granted, he didn't have an 80 to 85% in the show. Yeah. But, I mean, that's that's a high that's a high percentage. That still leaves 20 to 15% to where you could just have poison injected in you, go through terrible sores. I knew a, I knew a teenage girl who went through chemo. How did she come up? Oh, she's fine now. Oh, we'll give her. Yeah. Uh, she went through terrible sores in her mouth. She can never give birth now because of her. The herpes. <laughs> Dude, like, no, Sounds like, like herpes go. No, like her tongue. Would, <clears throat> her tongue would swell. Her tongue would then have like canker sores on it. It hurt to drink water. Canker sores are a form of herpes go. <laughs> I, I can't. But no, there are radiation sores. Because that's all chemo is, is like radiation. Did the doctor tell you that? (laughs) (laughs) Every so often, these are going to show up. They're just radiation sores. As the doctor's like covering his lips and stuff. (laughs) It's like, why are you wearing a mask right now, doctor? Oh, no reason. (laughs) Like, well, you know, you have herpes. I mean, cancer. (laughs) Cancer is There's no treat for cancer. I mean, herpes. I mean, what? (laughs) I mean, what's going on outside? (laughs) The weather we're having, right? <laughs> Is that a school shooting going on outside? <laughs> Wait, what's this? That was uh, Grand Theft Auto. But what? Oh, more heist news? No. That of was, course not. Why would they? <laughs> that was PC news. Wait, is it not released yet? On PC? PC? No. Oh. No, it's coming out. Uh... I'm, sure, I'm sure in payday style, they'll get the heist. Uh, they're supposed to be coming out before the PC version does. Oh. Weeks. It's supposed to come out in weeks? Uh, or weeks to, before the PC version. It's come out weeks before, but then again, they just pushed the PC version back okay. months. <laughs> so. That's great. Come back and see this. Come back later. I just keep get, we keep hearing promises and promises. And just no, oh, God, you know. No output. Whisper sweet nothings and promises you don't intend to keep. It goes back uh, to the Middle Ages. Back oh, when the, where's, there was beasts and towers and damsels reading books. Yeah. Weird Stuff. times. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to make a poem and something about Jeeps. Nope. Whisper sweet nothings that you don't intend to keep. Pack them in a bag and stuff them in your Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What's the new Grand Cherokee commercial? Buy one now. <laughs> Gas prices are low. They are fucking low, dude. Which I wanted to do research about why the fuck they're so low. Because my stocks are being affected because the gas is so low. How does that make any sense? I don't understand it. Do you, do you have stock in gas? I don't. I have stock in retailing internet businesses. And yet, because the gas prices are so low, oh, that's going to hurt business. Because ah. I own a Chinese company called Alibaba. I don't own it. Whoa. But I, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 
I don't own it. We're, I own we're doing it. this in my basement, and you own a company? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? It's fucked up, man. <laughs> well, I own stock in a, in a new Chinese company. I could have a comfier chair that massages me. Yes. <laughs> and, Call, it's called Asian women, Mike. Yeah. And in, like <laughs> a, sit on them and they Like an eight-foot-long <laughs> Ikea table. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that can be made right in the company that we that you own. That's uh, that's actually probably true. They use the very bland, very vague term investors because investors are selling because of oil prices. When when a lot of companies have nothing to do with oil, and if anything, that should drive cost up. I could I could see people selling out of oil because the prices are going so low. Or when you're doing a company that has nothing to do with oil, I don't understand how that would be affected by. Well, there's a product being sold for X amount of dollars. All of a sudden, it gets cut damn near in half. I would understand it affecting oil companies. Yeah. Maybe other people are like, oh, my God, oil is like fucking gold, and gold's going down, and fucking the world is ending. All right, so let's say you're Smaug, right? And someone comes and takes a measly little Arkenstone, but you still got a whole hall filled with gold. Sure. Granted, that Arkenstone is a glittery piece of shit. Are you calling dragons Jewish? Jewish Fucked up. Jewish people don't. Fucked up. Jewish people don't own the oil companies, Mike. They own gold. Yeah, Bags of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that. All I can think of is Robin Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> and you make me a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> It's like, well, you got to do less, and, you know, you got to kind of hope that somebody comes along and picks you up and, yeah. you know, gives you money and stuff, <laughs> buys you free drinks. Yeah, but that's, I don't know how we got to that part, talking about her, but oil prices. Yeah, there you go. Sure. But, yeah, it's, it's maybe next week I'll do some research and find out who's digging into whose pockets <laughs> to get these prices down somewhere. Who's digging more. into what butthole and <laughs> yeah. figure out where all this goddamn money's coming from. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, we go.